Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. It's time for your daily dose of some fragrance content. And for today I've prepared a list of 12 fragrances that work great in the fall time and also will get you compliments. And the best thing out of all is that all 12 are very affordable. The first fragrance that I've prepared for today comes from the brand of Hadlage, part of the Infini line and it's called Infini Absolute. And this is a very interesting fragrance that feels uh, somewhat of a clone of Creed Aventus but at the same time having quite a, you know, a heavy twist on the scent itself. If you are familiar with Creed Aventus you'll immediately recognize that uh, this is uh, cloning Creed Aventus but at the same time this feels kind of different because it has more fruity sweetness, more amber sweetness and all around just feels like a slightly more sweeter take on the Creed Aventus DNA. Apart from that, you know, it carries pretty much the same notes as the Creed Aventus as well. It's a complement together for the, that very same reason, because it carries, uh, you know, Creed Aventus' DNA. Performance is very good, projection is very good, the price is affordable, you know, the quality all around is really, really nice. And in fact, I was quite uh, surprised, uh, pleasantly surprised by the quality and the performance of Infinity Absolute. My next suggestion comes from the brand of Arabiat Prestige and it's called Portrait Oud. Now this fragrance, I tried it for the first time a few weeks ago. This is uh, supposedly a clone of Alexandria II from Zerjo. And when I first tried it, I actually wasn't uh, really impressed by, uh, you know, the scent itself, by how close it is to the original fragrance, but this is one of those cases where maceration actually has uh, greatly helped uh, with the improvement of the scent itself. Fast forward a few weeks, like a month now since I tried it for the first time and this has really evolved really really nicely. Again to this day it doesn't feel like a straight up clone of Alexandria 2 but feels that something done in a similar way. The original fragrance is very complex one, has uh, a lot of notes, has a very Middle Eastern touch and it's a beast of a performer, perfectly unisex. And Portrait Oud actually, again with uh, about a month of maceration, has actually changed for the good. Nowadays this smells closer to Alexandria too, still not a straight up clone. To my nose this feels like more of a floral uh, you know, version of the original fragrance. Having a stronger rose note compared to the original, feels less woody, feels slightly less sweet compared to the original and this feels maybe like a, a slightly more feminine take on uh, the Alexandria 2 scent. But again with some maceration this actually has evolved really really nicely. Performance is quite good nowadays. I get about 8 hours of performance, maybe even over 8 hours of performance. I've gotten a few compliments while testing this one out. Projects really nicely and uh, again uh, after some maceration this turned into a really nice scent. My next suggestion comes from the brand of Armaf and it's called Armaf Hunter Killer. This is another very interesting scent that doesn't feel like a straight up clone of anything, more like a twist or like a mashup of a uh, a few different scents. Uh, on my hand this has pretty strong uh, resemblance to uh, red tobacco from Mancera but at the same time feels quite more soft, less spicy compared to red tobacco and this has a sort of a uh, fruity aspect to it which brings it somewhat close to Low Medial Extreme from Guerlain. Again not super close to Low Medial but carrying uh, some of the you know of the notes of Lom Ideal Extreme. The actual end result of that mashup of the two DNAs is really, really nice. Almost perfectly unisex, sweet, slightly dark fragrance that's easy to wear, especially in cold weather. Works really as a nighttime scent. Uh, performance is really, really nice. Projection is really, really nice. And the price is super, super affordable. And really, to this day, this remains one of my most favorite Arma fragrances. Next, let's move on to a few Latafa fragrances and the first one will be a uh, Jasor. And this is again a clone with a slight twist of Valentino Uomo born in Roma Coral Fantasy. And uh, again done really really nicely. The sprayer is a bit on the weak side but the scent itself is uh, quite nice. Pretty similar to Valentino Uomo born in Roma Coral Fantasy. Maybe feels a little bit less sweet compared to the original, at least to my nose. You got some florals in here, some spiciness, a bit of a green touch, quite a bit of sweetness, a hint of tobacco, a very modern scent, a very likable, very easy to wear scent. That's very versatile, can be worn throughout the year. But for me, the best time to wear this one is in the fall season and early spring. And this is a very likable scent that will get you compliments. 
it uh, has very decent performance, very decent projection and again remains a very very affordable just like most uh, any other Latafa fragrance. My next suggestion from the brand of Latafa is part of the Pride line and it's called Vintage Radio. And this one is a clone of Initials Paragon and it's done really really nicely. I really like to mention this fragrance from time to time because it's done really really well. It's a very very good clone of Paragon, you get that very nice mix of uh, a juicy plum note with some uh, woods that really create this intoxicating uh, scent profile. You get some spices, some additional woods, but it's all about that mix of uh, the fruity sweetness and the uh, woody notes. Absolutely fantastic scent, very very bright, very easy to wear, another perfectly unisex fragrance that can be worn pretty much all year round, but again I think the best time to wear this one is throughout the fall time and the spring time. Performance is good, projection is good, the price if you can find it for the right price can be very very affordable. All around uh, this is a great offering from the brand of Latafa. And the last Latafa that I'm going to mention in today's video is part of the Kayat line and it's called Kayat Intense. And this is a very interesting mix of, uh, on one hand, Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé and on the other hand, uh, Dior Homme Intense, leaning heavily to the, uh, you know, to Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé side, but having a little bit more powderness compared to the original scent, and thus making it close to Dior Homme Intense also. Very, very nice fragrance, very warm, very intoxicating scent that has uh, quite a bit of powderness from the iris note, there's some whiskey, uh, some boozy note in here, a whiskey note, I think there's some chestnut note in here, you got a bit of tobacco, quite a bit of vanillic sweetness as well, a great uh, sort of on cold weather uh, fragrance, a nighttime fragrance for the cold weather, works superbly, has good quality, performance is great, projection is great and has really nice uh, and high compliment factor. The next two fragrances that I'm going to show you all three will be from the brand of Fragrance World. And the first one is part, part of the olfactory line and it's called Bonfire. And this fragrance is, as you can probably guess looking at the bottle and hearing the name, is a clone of uh, Mesa Margiela's By the Fireplace. And it's done very very nicely. You still you get the very same notes like the original fragrance. You get the woods, you get the smokiness, you get the sweetness, a chestnut note. All around very very close to the original fragrance, although this to my nose feels like a slightly smokier take on the original scent. Other than that, very very close to the original. I've always liked the original fragrance, I've always liked all the good clones of uh, By the Fireplace and Bonfire is really really nicely. It's a great cold weather scent, a great uh, nighttime scent, very cozy, again very intoxicating scent that's uh, almost perfectly unisex. Maybe because of that ramped up smokiness maybe leans a little bit to the masculine side but it's done nicely. Performance is good, projection is good and the price is very affordable. The next one from Fragrance World is one of their newer releases and it's called Soir. And this again, judging by the name, you can probably guess uh, what this has been inspired by and that's Grand Soir from MFK. You get a pressurized sprayer and you get a very interesting uh, scent. Now originally when I tried this for the first time a few weeks ago, I was a little bit disappointed because I thought that this is a lighter, more feminine take on the Grand Soir DNA. But again, with some maceration in this uh, case, about two weeks, uh, this has started to improve uh, greatly. It now feels richer, it feels denser and it feels sweeter compared to when I first tried it. Just like with Grand Soir, you get a lot of vanillic sweetness, a lot of ambery sweetness. You get uh, this, uh, I think, a benzoin note in here, maybe a hint of uh, booziness as well. All around, it's a very, very nice uh, and uh, This is like a slightly more vanillic take on the scent of Grand Soir. Initially the performance wasn't that great, but actually I gave this one a wear yesterday and it, it uh, performed really, really nicely. Nowadays this gives me about 8, maybe even over 8 hours of uh, performance with nice projection and also I've received uh, a few compliments while testing uh, Soir. And the last Fragrance World suggestion that I'm going to give you uh, in today's video is called Invicto Victorious Elixir. This one cloning uh, Invictus Victory Elixir and it's... Uh, done really really nicely. It smells super super close to the original fragrance. You get that very sweet, very playful, very modern scent profile just like with the original. It has lots of sweetness, a hint of smokiness, maybe some woods and spiciness but it's all about the sweetness in here. Super close to the original fragrance, performance is good, projection is good, it's a crowd pleaser scent. Uh, my wife really loves the smell of Invicto uh, Victorious Elixir. 
performance is good and uh, you know the price is very very low this remains very affordable for what it actually offers in return the next one comes from the Oud collection the brand of Oud collection and it's called Dusk and this is a super high quality clone of Parfum de Marlis Leighton very very nicely done one of my most favorite clones of Leighton you still got the fruity sweetness of Leighton you got the slight greenness of Leighton the spiciness of Leighton the woody uh, vanillic dry down of Leighton but what this uh, you know the way that this differs compared to the original fragrance is that this feels a little bit more fruity slightly less spicy less green compared to Leighton and I know for a fact that some people don't like the opening of Leighton and uh, Dusk actually fixes that because it makes it more wearable for those people I've never had uh, a problem with the opening of Leighton but Dusk is I cannot deny that Dusk is done really really nicely quality is superb you get a magnetic cap and really nice presentation you get very good performance and projection and all around this is one of the best high quality clone uh, clones of Leighton that you can get the next one comes from the brand of Afnan and it's a uh, one of those super versatile fragrances that just uh, have uh, are monsters when it comes to getting compliments and it's called supremacy not only intense this one feels like a clone between Creed Aventus and Mishane Hashivat maybe leaning to the Hashivat side it's very fruity woody mossy fragrance that has quite a lot of sweetness and just works you know just works that's the simplest way that you can explain uh, you know everything about supremacy not only intense super high quality beastly performance and beastly when it comes to getting compliments um, the only problem with this one is that it's a little bit more expensive in, in some parts of the world but uh, what you get in return I think is worth it and the last fragrance that I'm going to feature in today's video is one of those newest uh, releases from the brand of uh, Paris Corner part of the Moj line and it's called Cognac Blaze now initially when I f first got this, this one I was uh, expecting it to smell similar to uh, Angel Share great atomizer by the way but it turned out to be uh, something almost completely different in a way it's uh, similar because of the sweetness that it carries uh, similar to angel share but the opening is very very different there basically there's basically no booziness in this unlike uh, you know angel share what this has in the opening instead of a strong boozy note is a strong coffee note making it somewhat similar to latafa uh, hammer hawa not close super close to a uh, hawa but in a way similar because how I also has uh, you know a coffee note but the coffee note in uh, uh, cognac blaze is actually way way stronger and it's a very interesting uh, scent itself performance is great projection is great uh, my wife uh, loves this one also wears it and is helping me with the testing of uh, cognac blaze and so far this seems to be quite an impressive scent and very interesting and very sort of different from everything else when it comes to uh, angel share clones so my last suggestion in today's video from Paris Corner, Moj Cognac Blaze. And so guys, in today's video, I showed you 12 fragrances that are all of them affordable, all of them work great in the full time, and all of them will get you compliments. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a like. And I also hope that you're going to join me tomorrow for your daily dose of some fragrance content. And until then, stay safe and bye-bye.